Why do we call the world an illusion? By illusion we do not mean unreal. By illusion we mean it is temporarily real. Just for the time being it is real. Nothing is permanent. One is the outer world and one is the inner world. Why do we call the outer world unreal? Because it only brings us misery and only gives you ambitions, desires, projections. It never allows you to be authentically happy, really happy. It gives you hope but never fulfills it. It leads you to many journeys but the goal never arrives. That is why it is called illusion, maya. It is a mirage. It appears to be there. But when you reach there, you don't find anything. And by the time you reach there, your desires are projected future ahead. You make more desires and then the same chain continues. So you are never really happy. You just keep getting greedy and greedy. More and more desires. But you are never really content. It is like the horizon. You go towards it and it goes on receding. You never arrive. You cannot arrive. By its very nature, it is impossible. It only appears to be there. But it is not there. And just the opposite is the case when you enter your inner world of consciousness. The closer you come, the more real it becomes. The closer you come, the more blissful you become. The more joyful, the more cheerful you become. The more closer you come, the more authentic, the more real you become. And the closer you get, you begin moving towards the center. And the moment you stand at the very center, then you become truth itself. In that moment, you meet the creator. In that moment, you meet who you call God. In that moment of inner centering, you and God are not two anymore. You are just one. If you move towards the outer world, you move away from yourself. And the further you go away from yourself, the further you go away from truth. Because the truth is centered within you. The truth is not out there. Everything is an illusion except for yourself. And when I mean yourself, I do not mean the self that you know. I mean the self that is undiscovered by you till now. The self that you know belongs to the outside world. It is as unreal as the outside world. The self that you know is nothing but a collection of these illusions, a collection of your dreams and desires, a collection of your fake personality, a collection of your fake self. The self I am talking about has nothing to do with your fake self. It is your eternal self I am talking about. It is not yours. It is not mine. It is nobody else's. It is everybody's. It is the very center of all. When you get rid of this fake self, then your eternal self arises. Your eternal real self is hidden behind the cloud of your false fake self. You as you really are in the center are the reality. Everything else is an illusion. It is very important to understand the silence of meditation. In this silence, you become aware of who you are. Otherwise, there is so much of noise to distract you from yourself. Noise in the outside world, noise in your inner world in the form of thoughts. There is no space for the self to assert itself, to manifest itself. It goes on waiting and you go on remaining occupied with this noise, with this distraction. And people do not want to hear the truth today because then their illusions will be destroyed.